بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم our case today is very uh, interesting and common our uh, practice and this is the clue for uh, the question full term baby placental abruptio or abruptio placenta and bloody meconium after delivery after delivery الدم عمره ما يبقى مونيا If we'll see here, this is our scenario. Full term infant is born after normal pregnancy delivery. However, is complicated by marginal placental separation. And here, the marginal placental separation. This is the clue for the scenario: placental separation or placental bleeding. At 12 hours of age, a child although appears to be in good healthy condition, passes bloody meconium stool. This is another clue for the scenario. So there is placental bleeding at the time of the delivery, and the baby at 12 hours of age having bloody meconium stool. Bloody meconium stool. So this is indicate what? Or your impression or your professional diagnosis. This is melina neonatorum or swallowed maternal blood or ingested maternal blood. So for which, uh, uh, for determining the cause of the bleeding, which of the following diagnostic procedures uh, should be performed first? Which one you can do it first? You diagnose swallowed maternal blood. So, if there is impression, or most probably this is uh, melina neonatorum or swallowed maternal blood or swallowed blood syndrome, you have to do a test first before you go for further workup, before you are going for further barium enema or upper GI study or CBC or coagulation profile because your differential diagnosis it will be. GI bleeding, either upper GI bleeding or lower GI bleeding, or hemorrhagic disease of the newborn, hemolytic disease of the newborn, or coagulopathies, or vitamin K deficiencies. So you have to do first ab test. You have to do ab test. After ab test, if it's uh, ab test uh, positive and indicate this blood is come from the baby, you have to do all the workup. If this ab test Uh, came and uh, uh, the result is this blood it came from maternal blood or placental blood no further work up you will be conservative with the baby we'll see here this app test diagnosis melina and unitorum caused by ingested maternal blood if you'll see here this is the blood you see the baby having melina here and this is the blood here if you see this is the blood so i have to take 4 ml from this melina or this blood and then i will take 1 ml sodium hydroxide i will put it together then i will do centrifuge after centrifuge i have to look for the blood if the blood actually pink like this This indicate fetal hemoglobin resist the alkali. Fetal hemoglobin resist the alkali indicate this blood is come from baby. It's come from the baby. If the fetal hemoglobin resist the alkali and the, the blood color is pink, so indicate this blood from the baby. I have to do further work up. Have to do CBC, coagulation profile, upper GI, lower GI, and uh, looking for the other causes like coagulopathies, hemorrhagic disease, vitamin uh, K deficiencies, and other uh, common hemorrhagic or bleeding uh, diseases. If the blood here, if you see here, it changed or denatural to yellow brown, this indicate this is maternal blood or placental blood. If this indicate maternal blood or placental blood, because denaturing, you see the hemoglobin is denaturing, because the hemoglobin A or adult hemoglobin, it will denaturing with the alkali, indicate this is maternal blood, so no further work up for the baby, because the blood is come from the mother, not come from the baby, so no further work up for the baby, it will be conservative with the baby. This is the app test, دم عمره ما يبقى مية. This is the fetal hemoglobin. If you'll see here, the fetal hemoglobin. If you'll see here, the fetal hemoglobin resist the alkali here, and still pink in the key and denatured actually uh, remain pink and is not denaturing. Indicates this blood from the baby. If there is the blood is changed to yellow brown and denaturing, indicate this is adult hemoglobin and this blood it's come from placental blood or maternal blood. Indicate the blood is not coming from the baby. It's come from the mother. So no far. Harder work up, you have to do it. You will be conservative with the baby. Conservative with the baby. So the answer is B. You have to do a test. If there is hematemesis or melina are not uncommon in the neonatal period, especially if gross placental bleeding has occurred at the time of delivery. And this is a clue. 
جروس بلاسينتال بليدنج هاز اوكيرد ات ذا تايم اوف ذا ديليفري وانس يو هير ات بلاسينتال ابرابشو بلاسينتال اور مارجنال بلاسينتال سيبريشن بوت ان يور مايند either this baby it will need resuscitation and shock therapy or this baby will swallow the maternal blood and having melina nunatura and having hematemesis or it will be having uh, melina you have to do ab test the diagnostic procedure that should be done first It's ab test. Ab test. It will differentiate between the fetal from the adult hemoglobin in the bloody specimen. If there is blood indicate uh, maternal blood or placental blood because the blood changed to yellow brown or denaturaling with the alkali, so far no further work up. Uh, you no further work up to you have to do it and will be conservative with the baby. If the blood it came uh, from the baby and the, uh, the fetal hemoglobin resist the alkali and the pink, it will you have to do further work up for the baby looking for the cause of the bleeding or the source of the bleeding. It's hemorrhagic disease or coagulopathy or vitamin K deficiency or upper GI or lower GI uh, bleeding. If you'll see here, this is Dam Amrumabamaya. This is ingested blood in the newborn period or neonatal period it will be swallowed maternal blood the diagnostic test it will be a test if the infancy or young children sometimes the mother having the nipple it will be fissure or crackled nipple and the baby who will take the breast feeding so he will swallow the, the blood from the mother also you have to check the uh, the nipple or the uh, the breast of the mother for any crackles or any uh, fissures it will indicate also this is uh, ingestion of maternal blood if uh, actually the breast or the nipple is cleared and the baby sometimes having bistaxis or oropharyngeal bleeding or blood tinged uh, sputum If you will see here, this is swallowed maternal blood. This is a newborn, and this is a hemoglobin uh, F. It will uh, 90% it will resist the alkali, indicate this blood it's calm. Uh, if there is uh, if there is pink like this, indicate the blood come from the baby because the fetal hemoglobin resist the alkali. If the blood it came like this yellow brown and changed and denaturing, indicate this is maternal blood and uh, no further work up you have to do it. It will be conservative with the baby. At the end, I would like to pray for my colleague is going for Saudi board, Jordan board, Arab board, uh, and the United Fellowship. اسال الله رب العرش العظيم ان ينجح كل زملائنا جميعا ومن احيا فكانما احيا الناس جميعا شكرا سلام عليكم